requested that we put uh, raising taxes on the agenda as well. Um, he's not here to make his case, but we put our budget in uh, for the current year, the budget balance. We do have money in our checking account even after the bills are paid. We have um, in our operating account $23,000. And honestly, I don't see where the need that we, we need to go out and raise taxes just to raise taxes on the businesses in this town. Um, I'm definitely not paying that tax. Yeah, and the businesses in this town are, are just barely surviving. It'd be kind of ridiculous to be an tax on them. So, Tom, you want to. You want to speak, or you want to just let this? Uh, well, I just, um, for those that don't know me, I'm Tom Kinder. Me and my wife run the little store up the street. Um, I just want to come down and just to voice my opposition to a B&O tax. Um, as you said, we struggle with you know week to week to try to keep our our store open. And um, um, when I got out of school, me and Pat, the town. Was, things were a lot different then. I mean, there was hardly a shop that didn't have something out here back in 77, 76. And seen, now we're down to two places that you can even work at, and one of them works a week, off a week, and Interstate has cut their pay of the men probably about $100 a week, and it's just a real struggle to, to be able to stay open. And, I enjoy working here at the store in town. It's nice coming to a building that, <clears throat> that you know has had a store in it probably for maybe a hundred years. And I think, you know, it, it does the town good to have one place open all the time. I don't know. You Especially know, but, a food store. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I know they're strapped for cash here at, for the town. I mean, individuals are strapped. At, this whole end of the county is having a hard time, you know. We're kind of on the verge of if something would happen to the meals, then we're all done, you know. There's nothing else to be done about it. But I just wanted to come down and say that. I'm, you know, I appreciate everybody that buys off of me. And I'm, you know, able to keep going from week to week. But, you know, I appreciate it. I just, yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, uh, thank you all. I think if... Uh, <coughs> Some of the, if someone had done their homework, they would find that Durban is not qualified to assess the O tax. They, you have to have, first off, you cannot assess for a higher percentage than what the state assesses. After that, you have to have a certain um, population. The demographics say no to Durban on the tax. And, uh, it's uh, cut and dry. We would have to uh, incorporate probably the entire county to qualify for being able to assess a bit of Okay. Um, rather than just table this matter, I would like for the council to uh, entertain a motion to uh, not uh, raise any kind of taxes on this town and go ahead and make a public statement that uh, that we go ahead and uh, not raise this. Do I hear a motion to not raise this? I have a motion. Okay, Gloria makes that motion. Do I hear a second? I'll second. Kenny makes the second. <laughs> Council have any other discussion? Yeah, I do. All right. Uh, I know people in this town talk about the use of tax on the railroad. And the way I see it, I'm a council person. I've been sitting on this council for 12 years. If you tax one business, you got to tax them all. And like Tom said, you, you, you got to store. Most everybody in this room goes to it. If it goes out, the older people, that, that ain't got transportation where they're going to get their groceries. I don't think this was meant for um, stores. I think it was meant for amusement. I understand, I understand the uh, amusement, the immigrants, but like I say, it, it, if you tax one business, you've got to tax them all. No, the, the, the stores are for food and groceries that you need. Amusement is another situation. 
she's right about that. Unless Falling to the to start wearing clown outfits. Yeah. <laughs> when they the stores, we wouldn't have a place to get a loaf of bread. Yeah. Not on them. Not meant for the uh, store. But but uh, I'll, I'll bring I'll bring up another issue. And the Upper Eden Club, they paid whiskey, beer, and uh, uh, wine license. So you get that in your business license, be like, or should. Like I said, I, I I said it here 12 years since this railroad came in. I heard. I heard different things, reviews of tax, uh, quarter on the ticket. No, what would it hurt? But listen, not one time has this council sat down and talked to John Smith. No, but they sent somebody else. Sent somebody else. And we never did to hear the response on that. <laughs> Further, it's a uh, legislature's the only person that can assess the sales tax. Only person, only people that can assess the sales tax. Okay, there's a motion on the floor and a second. No further discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed is no, so we have it four to zero to zero.